Right, specific heat capacity. This is the required practical activity for GCSE physics by AQA. Uh, if you want to know more about specific heat capacity, you actually need to look at this other video, and the address is coming up shortly. That will tell you all the theory behind it and what's going on exactly. This video looks specifically as to how we do the practical. Okay, so it's got all the equipment, the method, uh, to find out what uh, the specific heat capacity is of a block of steel. In this practical, we'll find out the specific heat capacity of steel. The specific heat capacity of steel means how much energy is needed to heat up one kilogram of steel by one degree Celsius. Right, so this is a, a one kilogram mass of steel with specific heat capacity. You always use one a one kilogram mass. Uh, so here's the example of the mass we use. This is a typical heater we use. It's rated around 40 watts, 50 watts. A power supply, which you would have seen to supply the energy needed to heat the block up. A standard stop clock to measure the time. An ammeter to measure the current. This is placed in series. And a voltmeter uh, to measure the potential difference. A thermometer is used to record the change in temperature. Uh, in order to get a good contact between the thermometer and the metal block, we add a little bit of oil to the bottom of it. Uh, if you notice, the temperature started at 20 degrees C, and we heated the block up for five minutes. Right, this is the heater in series with the ammeter. You see, it's a simple series circuit. And then we connected the voltmeter in parallel. The, the voltmeter goes across the heating uh, element. Finally, we collect a stop clock, and in this experiment, we timed it for five minutes to get a su suitable big enough temperature rise. Here we see a clip of uh, live action, so you can see that the voltmeter fluctuates ever slightly, the ammeter fluctuates ever slightly, so you have to guess more or less what it's staying steady at. At the end of five minutes, the thermometer had risen to a temperature of 42 degrees Celsius. We now have all the data we need. Right, how to calculate this specific heat capacity? Well, during the experiment, you should have made note of the voltage supplied, which should stay steady. Uh, the current, it was 3.6 amps. The time was uh, five minutes. The starting temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. This should have a, a little degree sign in it, by the way, this number. And end temperature should be 42 degrees Celsius. You need to change the time into seconds. So five minutes becomes 300 seconds. That is five times 60, uh, 300. And we need to look at the temperature change. So it started off at 20 degrees. It ended up at 42 degrees. So 42 take away 20 gives you 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, in an exam, you can write down V equals 10.14I. The symbol for current is 3.6 amps. T, of course, is 300 seconds. The next two symbols, the little triangle, stands for delta. That means change. And the zero type thing is known as theta. So that's the change in temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. You do need to know that. Uh, energy equals current times uh, voltage times time. You stick the values in and you end up with the total energy supplied is 10,951 joules. We then stick the uh, specific heat capacity uh, formula in a triangle so we can work out what the value for C is. So E at the top, M at the bottom, C in the middle, and delta theta, the temperature change in the bottom right hand corner. And if you cover the C, you would find that E equals M over delta theta, which is what we're writing here. So the specific E capacity is calculated by getting the energy, dividing it by the mass, uh, and also dividing it by the change in temperature. So that's where that has come from. And then you stick in the various values that you have for the energy, for the mass, for the uh, temperature change to uh, make the calculation. So it's 10,951 joules, which is the energy, uh, divided by one, which is the mass of one kilogram, and the temperature change was 22. And when we put that in the calculator, we'll end up with our value, which is 492 joules per kilogram degree C. And that is how you work out a specific E capacity.